So last week we went, hey, let's build the ultimate budget Fortnite PC. And we started at the lowest side of the scale without sacrificing the basics for performance. We we're all impressed actually by the results. And if you haven't checked out that video, do so not and say hi to my PC son, Little Royale for me. This week guys, buckle up and get ready as we take you on a journey, that's a spiritual journey, of 1080p gaming at 60 frames per second within a budget of $1,000. Focusing on another eSport, Overwatch. So let's do this. Are you a giant Blizzard fan whose entire room is filled with patchy Maris? Or are you someone who always wanted to get into PC game? And really, you want some room to upgrade in the future? Well, today we are pushing the payload of performance. Our goal this week has been to hit 60 frames per second at 1080p while keeping the budget right around $1,000 Canadian. Last video, we mentioned adding a graphics card to build and improve it. And that's exactly what we did. And the results, well, they blew us away. So introducing the Black Watch Lite. Let's start with the case. The case is the Cooler Master Box 5 Lite. This is a wicked case, you guys. Included inside the box is the Cooler Master Master Liquid Lite and Cooler Master's Master Watt Lite 600 Watt Power Supply. That's a lot of lights. The Master Liquid is a basic all-in-one cooler. This is a great way to dip your toes into the liquid cooling pool <laughs> and upgrade from just purely airflow cooling. And the biggest thing you'll notice about this case is the red fans on the front. It kind of gives it that, you know, look. Very black watchy. Sitting aside, we have the same core components as the Black Watch Light's little brother, the Little Royale. So I guess really this is more of a Junkenstein's revenge scenario, you know, with the whole building of a monster. But hey, I like the name we have already, so we're going to keep it. So what do we keep? What's inside? Well, we have the Ryzen 2200G, a great option for price for performance. Again, the A320MK motherboard, which is a micro ATX board, so it's small. And well, the Cooler Master case fits as well, micro ATX and a full size ATX. So again, in the future, you have room to upgrade. We kept the eight gigs of G-Skill 2400 megahertz RAM. The A320M board has room to upgrade because that's an additional RAM slot. So one of the other big changes we did here was, well, we upgraded the SSD. We went with the ADATA, SU650 240 gig SSD. We doubled up on the size. This PC can handle more games, so we're giving you more space. Well, to hold your growing Steam library. Okay, this is the biggest addition over the lower budget build. We added a GPU into this guy. We went with the GTX 1050. The GTX 1050 is a dedicated GPU, and this allows this build to be able to run games at 1080p, averaging 60 frames. Now that we know what's packed in this little guy, how does it hold up? Pardon the clickbait wording here, guys, but. You wouldn't believe how this little Q performed. It will shock you. Because we couldn't believe it. Actually, I was really surprised. We tested out with Forza 4, World of Warcraft, Ghost Recon Wildlands, PUBG, and of course, good old Overwatch. First, we took it to the track and for a spin with Forza Benchmarking Tool, which was already installed in the game. I have to say, holy heck, it looked absolutely gorgeous. And all the overall graphics, like, hot damn. Hot damn. Let's take a look at the benchmarks. With the FPS, we saw some frame dips coming down as low as losing 15 FPS. However, overall, it maintained a solid 50 frames per second using the GPU, which again, for the system, how good this looked and ended up looking, I'm really impressed. We next tested out the all-time Blizzard favorite, World of Warcraft, and well, wow. During a heavy raid battle, we saw 40 FPS on the average, but walking around the world with non-intense battles or combat, we saw a better jump all the way up to 60 frames per second. Next, we dove into the world of first-person shooters, or FPS, not to get confused with FPS. <laughs> mm. Anyways, we checked out Ghost Recon and PUBG, and both games ran, well, beautifully. Wildlands, we saw the average of 57 frames per second with a built-in benchmarking tool. And PUBG, with low graphics, we saw it go up to 67 frames per second. This for us ran smoothly and easily, best of all the low-end results. So shout out to Russ, our amazing builder, who managed to get not one, not two, but three kills. Yay. But I guess he won't be having a chicken dinner tonight. It's okay, Russ. We can make you some chicken dinner. When you get better, PUBG. When we dialed it up a bit to medium settings, we dropped a little bit down to 56 frames per second. However, this to us was very visibly choppy and a little harder to follow. So if this is a setup you do plan to go with, low settings will be the best for your gameplay for PUBG. However, and pardon my holy heck, Overwatch absolutely crushed it on this PC. That's why we named it after it. Well, Blackwatch and Overwatch, you get it. Our first go at bench, we're like, hmm, let's go with high settings. Let's just see if we can break our goal. And holy heck, did it ever. 88 frames per second average. So next we pumped up to see an ultra, you know, just to kind of see what we're going to see here. 67 is a lie because we got 76 and I can't read. And 
this was really impressive, guys. So it was really smooth, looked fantastic, and you know what, guys? We did Ultra, but how about Epic? Well, we did that. And we maintained an average of about 55 frames per second. However, it felt choppy. So Blackwatch Lite isn't ready for the Epic Forces of Life just yet. So now, for the big reveal. This again is just for the system, with no build fee and no Windows OS. So, the cost here for this build is $750 Canadian prior to taxes and around 580 USD for our American viewers. Now, of course, bottom line, you do need Windows to run this. So, if you had us install Windows and do the build, you're looking around 990 Canadian or 768 USD. So, now if this build has got you craving to push those payloads or get those capture points, and well, you can come down to your local Memory Express, pick up these parts for yourself, and like I said, we can build it for you. So check out our tech zone for all fancy pricing. So in closing guys, we learned that you can do 1080p gaming in the range of $1,000 easily and still maintain an enjoyable gaming experience. And you won't miss a beat while gaming with your friends. We hope you enjoyed this build guide for a lower mid tier PC and you were pleasantly surprised with the performance. Just as I was. I was still in shock there. So next time guys, I, yes I Steve, will be building a PC step by step with you for the mid tier system. So not only will this be going over the pieces of the PC a little more intimately, but explain why we put them there, where we put them, and, well, what order we chose. Maybe even some thermal paste theory. Who knows? And getting right down to the bench event. So I'd love to hear what parts you'd like to see in our next build. Our price range is 1200 to 1500 So let's build something really rad together next week. So guys, I'm Steve from Memory Express. You already know me. I don't need no introductions or outros. I guess I do actually. But anyways, you guys know our social media. Twitter and Facebook are the same, at Memory Express. Don't forget to check out our official Instagram account, Official Memory Express. So guys, if you like this video, smash that like button, give it a good old share, Reno. You guys know about our MEXP as well. Don't forget to comment on the videos for the month. Thanks to our friends at Seagate. You know, give them away not one, not two, but three SSHD Firecuda two terabyte drives. Pretty rad. So you can use this for your build. Maybe include it in the build for next week. I'll leave that up to you guys. So anyway guys, I'm Steve from Memory Express and this is me not needing an outro. Because you guys know me. I'm just gonna walk away. I'm going to sneeze and I don't want to. <sighs> yeah, sneeze coming in, plug ears or save ears. <laughs> oh.